You have just four weeks left to file your self-assessment tax return for the 2016-2017 year. The deadline for submitting paper returns was October 31, so your only option now is to fill it in online. Technically, you have until midnight on January 31st to do this EUT, if it is your first time, it can take up to 20 working days to get the information you need from HM Revenue and Customs, so it's crucial that you start now. And if you are planning to pay your tax bill by credit card, beware that you must do so before HMRC scraps this payment method for individuals on January 13. However, businesses will still be able to pay in this way. Most people don't need to file a tax return. But if you're one of the UK's 10 million self-employed workers, company directors or trustees, then you probably do. The same goes, if you earn more than £100,000 a year, receive a substantial income from savings or property, or earn a second income selling goods on websites such as eBay. If you or your partner's income is over £50,000 and you claim child benefit, or you made profits from selling shares, or a second home and need to pay capital gains tax, you're required to file a return. If you're not sure whether you fall into the self-assessment categories, contact HMRC. If you have filed online before, log in at www.gov.uk slash log hyphen and hyphen file hyphen self hyphen assessment hyphen tax hyphen return. You should have a user ID and password from when you created your account. If you've never completed self assessment in any form, the first thing you need is a 10 digit unique taxpayer reference UTR code. This is sent out in the post after you fill in some basic details on an SA1 form which can be submitted online at tax. Service.gov.uk short forms form SA1. You should then receive your UTR code in the post within 10 working days. The taxman says that SA-1 applications should have been submitted by October last year. But there's just enough time to get your code before the deadline, if you act immediately. If you have registered and received a UTR code in the past, but can't find it, call HMRC's helpline on 0300-233-10. Once you have it, you then need to visit gateway.gov.uk and enroll for online services. Enter your name, email address and create a password. The screen generates a 12-digit user ID. It's really important, so keep a note of this, because you'll need it later. Oh, and the next page, there will be a list of government services you can sign up to. Pick self-assessment enrollment. The system will ask for your UTR code, postcode and national insurance number. You will then be sent a gateway activation code in the post. Again, this will take up to 10 working days to arrive.
Once you have received the letter, go to the HMRC self-assessment page and log in. At this point, you need your UTR, Gateway Access Code which will have been posted to you, and the 12-digit user ID you got at the beginning of the process. Enter these details, and you should be taken to your own personal tax account with a self-assessment page. Now you can start filling in your tax return. Gather your bank statements and receipts for any expenses you need to claim relating to the tax year April 6, 2016, to April 5, 2017. If you also have an employer, dig out your employer reference number, P60 and P11B forms. These summarize your total pay for the year and any expenses or benefits you have received and should have been sent to you at the end of the tax year. Don't forget that you can claim back money on charitable donations and some subscriptions, such as to a museum. Part of your return may already be filled out. The tax man will enter details for gross pay, state pension, and national insurance contributions, for example. Check this is correct. It is then up to you to declare all the income, bank account interest, and any taxable benefits that you receive. If you are missing any numbers, it is better to submit an estimated figure and declare it as such. You can submit a revised figure at a later date, if necessary. Once you are sure everything is correct, submit your return. A confirmation message should then pop up on your screen along with a reference number from HMRC. It can take up to 72 hours for a final tax calculation but you can see a prediction of your bill by clicking view your calculation on the form. This sum must be paid by the January 31 deadline. If, after processing your tax return, HMRC discovers this bill was too high or too low it will write to you and either send a check or request further payment. The bill includes what you owe for the past year and the first half of what you are expected to owe for 2017-2018. HMRC bases this estimation on what your tax bill from the previous year. So, if you owe £2,000 for 2016-2017, you must pay £1,000 towards your 2017-2018 bill. There is currently a £100 penalty if you are up to three months late filing your return, even if you don't owe any tax. You may also be charged interest on any tax you do owe. And there are very few excuses that HMRC will accept. Leaving it too late to get an activation code, for example, is not good enough. HEHMRC helpline is open between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. on weekdays, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Saturdays and 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Sundays. Remember that call waiting times can be longer at this time of year.